What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So as you can see, our rig is down, no issues, thankfully. We do have a sweet GPU riser ready to go here from gpuriser.com. Check that sucker out, so cool looking. Actually has the gold uh, USB uh, female port on it, which is so sweet. Uh, this is the one that actually has the blue and also the red uh, LED lights on it, which are really, really nice. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy. This is our first 8 gig card. This is the uh, XFX um, RX 580 8 gig card. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, we got our hands on this just recently. Uh, let's see if our camera is going to let us focus at all. Maybe. Uh, probably not. So this is the RX um, Cyber 8 uh, card. If you're more interested, this is the 8BY SI8GB. Sorry, hard to read there on camera, was not focusing. So this one's the one that has uh, one HDMI port as well as three DVI ports, uh, as well as a, uh, I'm sorry, three, um, wow, can't think, display ports and one DVI port on there. Long day, you know. So this is the XFX. Um, nice card actually, I uh, was actually kept in, in really well condition, got this actually from a kid, uh, that went ahead and actually had his mom drive home. We met at a, um, supermarket, a food store, and, uh, it actually worked out well. I don't think he knew what he had though. And, and that's what I've been really successful with getting these cards recently is kind of looking for these individuals that don't really know what they have. Um, let's go ahead and move this back from the ledge. So nice card here. Um, you know, he didn't know what he had. It actually, he had it listed for 300 on offers up, I believe. No, 275 maybe. Uh, and I was able to go ahead and get this card for 250, um, which is really nice because right now, if you go ahead and take a look, um, people are selling these for like five, $600, which is crazy. So it's an eight pin. Just one eight pin, which is awesome. Good to go. Um, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug this sucker in and uh, see what type of hash rate we can get. In the meantime, wanted to show you guys before we do that. Let's go ahead and lay that down nice and softly. Um, so if we want to go ahead and take a look at this card with the sizing, here is a 470, and we can see the size of it uh, a little bit bigger, maybe just for this back shroud. Um, but right around the 470 size, uh, if I take a look at a 570 here and put this guy side by side, we're trying to get better at the camera work, guys. We're trying. 570, it's a little bit bigger, definitely thicker um, with the shroud uh, for the 570. So let's go ahead and power down the camera and get this sucker plugged in. Alrighty, we are in and good to go. We haven't powered it on yet. You can see we are in the case there. It does reach back to that back support bar, which is great, so it's not too small. Um, other than that, we do have an eight pin running to that there, and we are on the GPU risers.com. Uh, these cards are not plugged in right now, just for our testing, they're unplugged. Uh, these are the 470s that we have mining Ravencoin. So let's go ahead, reach down in here, power this sucker up. Ooh, we got blue and red lights, that's good. Let's go ahead and turn on our ATX power supply and hit our power button here. And it uh, looks like our fans, ooh, let's move that out of the way. We don't want that to be too close to the CPU fan there. Come on, you're fighting me. I don't like that. All right, we'll have to get to it in a minute. Um, so fans are on, these cards are on, but they're not actually plugged into anything. And we can see our card is set and ready to go. No fans quite yet, no configuration going. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we'll see what we're getting with our 580. Alrighty guys, so we are into HiveOS here. We have no flight sheet applied. We have no overclocking applied at all right now. Uh, you can see that it has recognized the card. Radeon RX 580, 8,192 megabytes on the sucker with the XFX. Uh, we're, this is the Samsung memory, which is great on this guy. We'll take it. And we're running at a whopping 32 watts right now. So let's go ahead on our flight sheet. We're going to apply. Uh, we're not going to use Ravencoin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove that. And we're going to apply a, a different flight sheet here. 
Um, so let's go ahead and see. I wonder why that one popped up. Interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and remove that flight sheet. And let's get a new flight sheet in place. We're going to go ahead and use this one here uh, as the one we want. I wonder why that didn't show up. That's weird. Let's go back to our worker. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, I wonder why that flight sheet's not in there for Ethereum. I want you. I want you. Well, that I set it as default. Let's see if that worked. Weird. It's so weird that it's not. I mean, I can go ahead and fill this in, but it's so weird that it's not coming up. That's odd to me. All right, we're just going to go ahead and populate this real quick. We are applying the flight sheet um, and we are uh, going with. OK, so we're going to do Ethereum. We're going with um, the uh, my wallet in there. Hot Hive on uh, pool with Team Red Miner. And we're just going to go ahead and call this Ethereum uh, test flight sheet. Okay, cool. Create that flight sheet. Flight sheet created successfully. Um, so now let's go ahead and go back to our worker. Check our flight sheet. There it is. I'm like, what is going on there? It's weird. So let's go ahead and apply that. We've applied this flight sheet. It is set. So let's go back to our overview here. So we just went ahead and applied the flight sheet. So the first thing I want to do is see what this does on a bare bone stock um, configuration without any overclocks, without any undervolts. So I'm going to jump over to our hive shell, bring this up and log in here. And it looks like it's loading that team red miner. So we'll give it just a minute. Alrighty guys, we are back and check it out. We're doing 20.47 mega hash right now. Let's go ahead and refresh this. 24.78 mega hash awesome and we're at 119 watts right now um so pretty high on the wattage there not bad on the mega on the mega hash there uh if we go ahead and take a look at our shell uh we can go ahead and see yeah 24.78 which is great hey good improvement good to know now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead into our overclock settings and we're gonna go ahead and copy the config here. We're going to select our algorithm. I can do it, I swear. And now what we're gonna do is look at some popular presets. So we're gonna select our RX580, our 8,192 megabytes, and look at the cardinality, 604, holy cow. So this is definitely a decent one. So let's go ahead and apply this right here and give us some ideas. Uh, now, no, no changes in the voltage, uh, uh, actually. I'm not seeing... That's the one thing I don't like about what they do within Hive OS. They're not... None of these give you, under these popular presets, it doesn't give you what to put um, for some of your voltage. It gives you the DPM, but wh where's the recommended voltage field? It drives me nuts. I know everyone's different, uh, but we'll have to take a look here. Okay, so we applied 1150 on our core clock, we're going with a core state of one, and then our memory clock is at 2150. So I'm gonna come in here and start this out at 900 and we'll kind of see what we do. Um, other than that, let's see, let's look here. What else can we set? Let's set a one for our mem state, and then our refresh rate should be 20 um, based off of this here. And let's do the aggressive underclock settings as well, and let's save it and uh, let that sucker apply and we'll be back in just a minute and see how we do Alrighty, guys we are back and with those settings we're at 28.24 we're so close to 30 so close to 30. um what i really want to pay attention to is look at this wattage guys 77 watts right now unbelievable and credit we don't have a voltage meter plugged in we're just getting this right from hive os and i understand that hive os sometimes can be a little finicky when it comes down to providing true watt consumption but this is phenomenal 77 watts or so at 28.24 uh, so let's go ahead and take a look back at our configuration just curious on what some of these other uh, settings are um, let's set this here so 21 50 seems to definitely be the way to go. I'm not seeing a lot of people push this even more. There's this one down here. Interesting. 1200 and 2200. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm curious. I'm curious. So we're going to go in here. We're going to change that to 1200 
and we're going to change this to 2200 and we're going to drop our voltage down a little bit uh let's go to 890 and let's apply that let that apply and we come back let's see can can we get to 30 can we do it Alrighty, so we are back. We did get to 28.9. Oh my gosh, 1.1 away. 1.10 away from that 30. It seems so close. It seems so close. Man, look at that 28.9. We're so close. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if we can, can we push it? Can we push it? I hate to go a little unstable there though. Um, let's, uh, Let's be safe. Let's be safe. So let's call it 30. Let's call it even 30 on a good day when the wind's blowing our way. And uh, honestly, uh, based off the Silicon Lottery, you guys very much and based off the memory could go ahead and hit this at 30. Um, if we go ahead and look at uh, what to mine. Under what to mine, uh, if we go with a 580 here, let's take a look. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, one. Uh, okay, now this is 1150 and 2150, so we're well above that. They're saying 30.5. Wow. Yeah, 30.5 is what they're saying. Um, so we are we are a little under that love, 28.90. Um, we'll have to see if we can find any uh, configurations out there. If you guys have any overclock settings out there that you find work better than this right now, please let me know. I would love to go ahead and see you know what we can do with the 580. Other than that, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today and taking a look at the XFX rx 588 gig card uh taking a look at exactly um you know what type of hash rate this sucker puts out i mean we're 28.90 at 78 watts that's phenomenal if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time